Reading and writing whole numbers. Suppose we had the following number written in words. How do we write this number in base 10 numerals? We can do that with the help of a place value chart, where we read and write numbers in groups from left to right. Every group contains a number. It could be a one-digit, two-digit, or three-digit number. To read a number in a group, we read out the number. Then, follow it with the value of the group in the singular form. So, to write our number in base 10 numerals, we have to start from the left. We read 61,000. Thousand means that the number 61 is in the thousands group. It is called the thousands group because it can have digits in the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So on the place value chart, we write the six in the ten thousands place and the one in the thousands place. Once we finish writing the digits of a group, we write a comma immediately to the right of the last digit in the group, one. The next part of the number follows the comma. It is 320. This is a three-digit number, and it goes into the second group called the ones group. This is the group that comes before the thousands group in terms of value. We insert the three into the hundreds place, the two into the tens place, and the zero into the ones place. And that is how we write 61,320 in base 10 numerals. Let us now read the following two numbers and then write them in base 10 numerals. For the first number, as we know, we read from left to right. So we have 238,000 since we read the word thousand. We know this number belongs in the thousands group. We write two in the hundred thousands place, three in the ten thousands place, and eight in the thousands place. We write a comma immediately to the right of the thousands digit so that we separate this group of three digits from the next. We continue reading the number. We have 14. 14 is a two-digit number, so we don't have a hundreds digit. So we write zero in the hundreds place, one in the tens place, and four in the ones place. And that is how the number is written in base 10 numerals. Now we move to the number 700,000. We start from the left and read 700,000. So we have a thousands group. And it has the three digit number 700. So we place 700 in the thousands group. The seven in the hundred thousands place, a zero in the ten thousands place, and a zero in the thousands place. We write a comma immediately to the right of the last digit we wrote, the thousands digit. As you can see, we finished reading the number, but we do not have a value for the ones group so we need to write zeros in the remaining places. There is a number before these zeros, the 700. So these zeros are placeholders. And they must appear in the number to show that we have 700,000 and no other values. If we did not add these three zeros in the hundreds 
tens, and ones places, the number would appear as 700. In this lesson, you learned how to write whole numbers in base 10.